Welcome, and thank you for joining us at Our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're reflecting on the truth that nothing is too hard for the Lord. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Today is finished. It is now time to hand its joys and its burdens to the Lord. Come now, just as you are, and surrender yourself to his mighty power and love at work within you. Be still and dwell in his word of life and hope. Father, sometimes my heart is overwhelmed by problems and situations I simply can't find a solution for. Show me again this evening that there really is nothing too hard for you. Jeremiah chapter 32 verses 17 and 26 says, Ah, Sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for me? Throughout scripture, God clearly reminds us of his power and might. Consider this exchange between the prophet Jeremiah and God. Jeremiah says, Ah, Sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. He acknowledges that a look at creation is more than enough evidence that God can do anything. God responds to Jeremiah's prayer by stating that he is not only the God of creation. He adds, I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. This included Jeremiah and the people causing him trouble. Then God asks, Is anything too hard for me? No matter what situations we face, we belong to the Lord of all creation and the God of all people. Everything must bow before him so we can entrust it all to him. Nothing is too hard for God. Use this time to entrust your circumstances to the one for whom nothing is too hard. As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply. 
working out any tension with long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart and become aware of the presence of our almighty God who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. So breathe in and out. And in and out. Let's pray. Dear Lord, there are many situations where I don't know what to do or how things will work out, but right now I choose to set my eyes on you. Lord God, nothing is too hard for you. Even the most impossible things I face are nothing compared to your mighty power. Reassure me again now that you are at work in my life. Psalm 68 verse 35 says, You, God, are awesome in your sanctuary. The God of Israel gives power and strength to his people. Praise be to God. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that nothing I bring to you in prayer is too hard for you to handle. You bring blessings out of even the darkest situations. I know that the work of your hands will continue to give me reasons to bring you praise. Amen.